Did you? I'm so, thank you, Ferg. That's very kind of you to say. Ferg just said that my driving was supreme. I wanted to get here though before that they they came down, and I think this is perfect. Now let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16. 16 elephants so far. So that's quite nice. Even the little legs in between. How beautiful is that? Oh, this is so lovely. Ferg, I can even do you one better and go and park on the other side of the dam if you want a low shot. Or are you happy mm -hmm. up here? Do you want low angle? If we go down there? Be okay, well, let me, let me reverse back slowly. If those elephants don't come this way, let's first see. No, they're going to stop there. Okay, I have an idea for us then. Sorry everybody, I'm just going to draw your attention away because I've found that I can get an even better spot. There's more, 16, 17. Oh my goodness, there must be about 30 of them. There's a whole nother group coming down. We'll park on the edge here. How's that, Ferg? Is that okay? Actually, you know what, let me go right down here. Why not? We've committed. Then we get the other elephant. There we go. Oh, what a beautiful scene on a Tuesday morning out in the middle of Africa with a whole herd of elephants to see coming down to have their, their daily drink. And I hope that you're snap, snap, snapping away, getting all those screenshots. Remember to share them, hashtag Safari Live, so we can see them later. It is, of course, really nice to see them, and it's great for your photo collections. Here comes a little one. Yes, well, quickly get a space, otherwise you're going to be trapped amongst all the big elephants. So I stopped counting, of course. I did get 16, and then there was 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I'm going to stop. I'm going to guess there must be more than 35 elephants. Once they all come down, the next group is on their way in. And I love the way that they rush at the water. It's like as, as if they think, oh, we better get there quickly, otherwise it's all going to be dried up. And it never is dried up, especially with this amount of water. But I don't know where that hippo's gone. I think that hippo must have got out the water and actually left. Because we haven't seen it pop up yet. And we did drive past when we were trying to relocate some Tangana, and he was still in the water. Perhaps he is still just holding his breath. Maybe he's got a reed. How do you feel about this, Ferg? Do you think he could just be breathing out of a reed? He's so scared mm. to put his head above the surface, sort of like what you see in the cartoons. And a little three-banded plover also flying in and amongst all the feet of the elephants. This is so beautiful. Might have his scuba gear on. Might have his scuba... Yeah, we could possibly have his scuba gear on. Scuba diving hippopotamus. That could actually be really quite nice to see. Oh my goodness, this is a beautiful herd. The Egyptian geese also no longer willing to be out in the open and on the land, sorry, they've moved right into the water now. <laughs> Egyptian geese, you might think that you're safe for now, but that could all of course change if those elephants decide that having a drink of water is just not enough. They might want to go in and have a swim. It's warm enough. Alice, do you know what the temperature is now? Because I'm sure it's changed quite a bit from when we first started the safari. Oh, they say it's only 68. I disagree with that. I think it must be well into the 70s already. I'm going to have to take so many jackets off. It's warmed up so nicely. I might even be tempted to take a swim with these elephants. Listen to those sounds of them all slurping. I think I've counted at least... I think there's at least 33 elephants here. I quickly did a quick count while they're all standing in the line. It's so beautiful. They're so well behaved. It's like they've done this before. Look at that, have you ever seen so many elephants in a line? Any school teacher would be proud. That's the straightest line I've ever seen. I can, we can't even get that right going into the bank or going to home affairs. 
I think we've got a lot to learn from these elephants. They can surely teach us a couple of things. It is just absolutely gorgeous out here today. Isn't this wonderful? And you know what, in sightings like this, sometimes it is nice to just sit quiet and watch and just take it all in because an experience like this is truly breathtaking. I wish you were all sitting here with me. I wish I had a big enough safari car to, to fit all of you in. But isn't that great? What could be maybe a miserable Tuesday morning if you're at work, maybe you're not having a particularly good day. I'm almost certain and feel very confident in saying that this would be enough to change your day and turn your frown into a smile. I cannot describe to you the peace that one feels when you're surrounded by elephants like this. It's the most tranquil experience. And I think that coming on a safari or just being around elephants would be an amazing sort of therapeutic experience if you were a bit stressed. You know how sort of they use horses or young kids that have perhaps got disabilities you know, of autism and all these different things, it really does help them so much. And I feel like elephants could do exactly the same thing. It just draws out every ounce of negativity you've ever felt in your life. You don't feel anything. You just feel happiness when you're around elephants. And especially, oh, there's the hippo. Where have you been? Hiding this whole time. That is amazing. So we've got now all the hippo, all the hippo and the elephants. I don't know where that hippo has come from because I looked and searched for it. It must have really been testing its breath. Perhaps the Guinness World of Records is here and this hippo was trying to compete for, for the title of the hippo that can hold its breath the longest. Because that was well more than six minutes, I can tell you right now. Perhaps when you are slightly petrified that you can hold your breath for a little bit longer doesn't seem to be too perturbed by the elephants at all. Quite relaxed, the Egyptian geese don't seem to mind the hippo too. I think they're in the same boat. Even the terrapins have come to the center of the water now. There's a, there's a gathering. It was a beautiful shot to have so many different species of animals. Now, Mr. Wolf, you say, look at all of them. I am. I'm staring straight at them, and I'm watching the hippo, too, eyeing out. He's just gone to the right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there he is, yeah. And he's just gone under again. But it's quite nice to try and get screenshots of all those species of animals together. Like I said, it's not particularly common, especially here in South Africa. I know if you go into a place maybe like in Namibia and go to a tasha where, you know, watering holes are few and far between, then most certainly you can see... 10 different species of animals and birds, probably even more with all the birds all in one go. But for us in South Africa, it's not exactly too common to come across impala, waterbuck, kudu, and then elephants and buffalo, and you name whatever other animals are around. We know there's a male leopard in the area too. We know that they're here. So maybe he'll come out a little bit later. Mm. Now, Mrs. Zero, as we sit here and we watch these elephants swirl their trunks in the refreshingly cool water, you've said that you love to see the different ages and sizes of the elephants. I do too, and I think when they line up in a row like that, that's the perfect opportunity to see something like that. And we've got two young bulls who have decided that this would make a perfect spot to push and shove each other around. And they're fine, they don't seem to be bothering anybody. They're out of everyone's way, except if they come a bit further down and perhaps bump bottoms 
with one of those cars, she'll turn around and she won't be very happy at all. <laughs> so our friend from earlier, Ferg, mm -hmm. is this cow up on the damn wall. Remember the one that first shook her head, the first elephant we saw this morning? I think it's her. She keeps looking at us, giving us the evil eye. Every now and then you'll see she swings her head towards us and she flares her ears. She's up on the damn wall. So she might be feeling a little bit on the brave side. Just because she's higher up than what we are. No, wait, are you a, no, you're a boy. Are you a boy? No, you're a girl. No, I must, I must trust myself. It is a, it is a cow. She's just standing there. Oh, this is so precious. And there's a whole lot coming around to us now as well. Oh, climb up that hill. Yes, up you go. Sometimes you need to wave your trunk around in the air, apparently, when you climb steep hills. Let's see if another, the little ones do it too. You know what? Trunk up, shake your head. No. Oh, yes. <laughs> Follow my leader. Next one, please. I am actually going to have to do reshuffle slightly, Ferg. Sorry, before these elephants around us. I'm not going to get myself pinned in at the dam here. I'm just going to go back. Sorry, elephants. Because my, my friend is giving me the evil eye. So we'll just make sure that we get to a spot where we can get away. So I'm actually just going to pull off the road quickly. Over here. We'll go up this way. And then we'll look back at them again. There we go. That's better. Sorry, we just need to readjust everything because I've parked us on quite a steep slope. But what the most perfect way to end a morning, don't you all think? Treehouse Dam, the Dam of Elephants, the Dam of Leopards. Apparently hippos and Egyptian geese too enjoy spending time around here. Are you chasing the Egyptian geese, Hippo? Or do you have a chariot of Egyptian geese? <laughs> That's really cool. I think they're all panicking at the moment going, please elephants just drink and just go away, just leave us alone. I'd love to see if that Hippo would challenge one of the younger hippo, uh, elephants. Right, let's go across to Tristan, who's got himself a little bird.